Hey, hey, hey. Uh, what a game by the Avalanche. It's five to go, presented by Ed Prather Real Estate. Ed will sell your home guaranteed at Prather.com. We're in the final stages of that. We'll get to details, but hey, we have a hell of a game by the Avalanche tonight. They were down 3 nothing, and it was looking incredible it'd, it'd be amazing and um vancouver had three days off before this game it's the second of a nine game homestand the abs are playing on a back-to-back they they won last night six to two in calgary this would be an incredible I mean, unbelievable accomplishment to get a point when they were down 3 nothing in this game. Really incredible. So, um, just looking at the box score here, to, 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 to show this much guts and determination with so many new guys on the team, man, I tell you, even a point, one point, and it's 3-3. Three, three. So, you know, four minutes to go now, but this would be absolutely massive. Um, I'd love to get greedy and get two points for sure, but even one would be great. You know what? I'm a little behind. Let me fast forward here a little bit. I'm sorry. So I got 213 left to go. My bad. So we got two minutes to go, all tied at three. <clears throat> okay scoring came three uh straight by they i mean the connect scored on the first two shots of the game jt miller and mikhaev assisted by jt miller and zdorov zdorov would get in a fight with hansen manson hansen hansen brothers manson and um that was like a legit fight. Like, let's square up and fight. Zdorf lost his balance. Manson threw him down. Then Manson went for like a like off the top rope sort of elbow deal. It was like, I don't know. Once the guy is down, I thought you were supposed to stop swinging. Anyways, it was Miller, Mikheyev, probably screwing that up, and Zdorov. And then Miko with his 34th, assisted by Taves and Middlestat. And then the, the Avs got a power play and then a five on three. So they got a five on three and Nate picked up his, a blast, a one-timer slap shot and kind of the Nathan McKinnon spot off to the side there. Power play goal is 42nd of the year assisted by Kale is 55th assist. Miko is 56th assist. Then Ross Colton from his belly swept up the garbage and got off to Smith's. Um, I mean, it was it barely made it over the line, but it did. It made it over the line. And upon review, good. It's a goal. There you go. Way to go. Three to three. Amazing. Remarkable. I think getting that goal with just about a second or so left in the second period was a big deal. I mean, allowing a goal, that's disheartening for another team. Allowing a goal, frankly, in the last minute, never mind less than five, less than two seconds to go in that period. Miko gets that goal. Remarkable. Remarkable. So, uh, less than two minutes to go. Less than two minutes from picking up a point, a hard fought, well deserved point. And then we'll see what happens in overtime. It's kind of gravy once it gets to overtime, but getting a point against Vancouver here would be really amazing. A win is like preposterous. Get to your comments here in a second. So we go to overtime. Minute to go. Abs just kind of dominating play here. 
And shots on net are remarkable. The Avs had like 11 shots on net with like six minutes to go in the second. They now lead 31-21 shots on goal. 32-21. One minute in regulation. One minute to go. Icing waved off. 40 seconds to go. Can't can't let off the gas. Oh, yeah. Chance. Here we go. Oh, good defense. Sador, nice. Manson, a blast. On net. Deflected. 30 seconds. All right, there's 20 seconds to go. Avs have the puck. Looks like they're setting up for one more rush. They can get it, but frankly, you know, whatever. You pick up the point, not icing. 10 seconds. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Is that delay a game? Susie threw it over the glass. That is going to be delay of game with 8.7 seconds to go. What? Oh, my God. So you're going to take that to overtime. What a screw up by Susie. He just flipped it over the glass. Oh, my God. What a screw up by Carson Susie. All right, so, I mean, they got a point. You got that. And now you're going to have a plow power play into overtime. Oh, my God. Wow. Bananas. I mean, there's 8-7 left. Let's see if uh, they lose the draw. Uh, eh, eh, eh. McCarr gets a shot off. Not a very dangerous chance, but... Wow, so the Avs will have a buck 52 left on the power play going into overtime. They get a point. Way to go. Great job by the Avs. That is uh that is that that is impressive right there. Wow, that is hell of impressive. And and now a chance to pick up another point. Oh my god. How greedy can we get? How greedy should we get? Oh, gosh. Uh, comments. Well, Canucks are probably going to kill the power play. Well, I don't know. Whatever. Maybe not easily. Well, the Avs have a power play goal, at least. This would be what a collapse by the Canucks if they lose this one. Looks like the trades worked. I mean, the Canucks get a point, too. So, I mean, you know, it's it's disappointing giving up the lead. And not to get two points, but it means much more for the Avs. Like I said, the Canucks had three days off before this game. That's ridiculous. Like they had a home game, three days off at home, and then this game. Uh, that's quite the collapse. I'd love to discuss possible lines come playoffs. I don't know if Lanny can handle the playoffs with his injury. Yeah, Kyle, let's... Uh, Let's let's take that one step at a time. You know, Landy hasn't even got back on the ice for like a regular practice. I'm just here to hear your wife scream on the game winner. Well, she moved from the usually she's in the uh, she's upstairs in the kitchen living room area, but she has she has <laughs> moved into the bedroom, fallen asleep with the cats, but she's still watching. So any screams of joy. Of course, aren't created by myself, but uh, might be difficult to hear. You never know, though. You never know. Back to back, played hard all game. Hell yeah. Question Who do you think is going to win this year's Stanley Cup? Oh my God, dude. I, I really don't know. It's so hard to judge. Not the Leafs. How's that? Uh, like, wouldn't you like to come back during the season to test it out? Playoff hockey is different. Uh, I don't know. All right, here we go into overtime, and the Avs have a buck fifty on their power play. So, more comments in a second, but let's um see what happens, right? So, who we got on the ice? We got Val, Kale, Rantanen, and McKinnon, like that. McKinnon fake. 
Oh, so much space on the ice, four on three. Oh, it's in! It's in! They got it! Oh, my God! They win! They win! Wow! Damn, that took a couple of seconds. On the power play, uh, it was Kale over to McKinnon. And I think it did it bounce off Val? Wow! Wow! McKinnon. Hold on, let me see. It goes to McKinnon, one-time blast. Oh, no, it hit off one of the Vancouver dudes and kind of just flopped in. Oh, it's, oh, no, it went off Val's face. It went off Val's face. It went off Val's face. He did a header, and the puck went off Val's head. It's like a soccer headshot. Off a skate, off Val's head, in. Holy shit. Wow, it's a header. I've never even seen that in hockey. It went off his it went off his visor. It went off he pointed at his visor. It went off his visor. Holy shit. Oh my god, that was crazy. So it was a one timer from McKinnon. It went off a skate of the Vancouver defender. Did Val nod that in on purpose? Holy shit, what a play. That was bananas. That was crazy. Wow. Holy, oh my God, that, wow. Avs win four to three. <laughs> That's a riot. Wow, 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 wow. That is bananas. That, what a win. What a freaking win. Holy cow, with uh, <laughs> Val getting the game winner off his visor. That's a riot. Oh, I got to hear what these guys have to say about this. All right, I'll see if I can't get some of the post game for you. That was bananas. All right, all right. So I got, uh, if we go to interviews, I got them. Wow. Okay. So the Avalanche win. Uh, uh, hold on a second. Um, damn, that was crazy. That was bananas. As beat the Canucks four to three in overtime. Would love your comments. That was hysterical. One Kale to well, let me see how they officially scored it. But I mean, I I know what it was. Uh, okay, all right, four three overtime. Yeah, no, they got. Wait a second. They, well, they got McKinnon scoring the goal, but it went off Miko or uh. No, it, it went off Val's visor. <clears throat> Let me see if they can, uh, they're going to adjust the scoring. I mean, it went off Val's visor. It's got to be Val's goal, right? It's got to be. Right now on ESPN.com, they're crediting to McKinnon, but I, that's, I don't think that's going to stand up. Uh, let's get um, Colton here. Uh, let's see, with Katie. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Let's see what he has to say. Great goal by Colton from his belly. Okay. What was going through your mind on that goal? Because I feel like you knew it was in the whole time. Yeah, I saw uh, I saw Miles jump up and down, but uh, you know it started with a great keep by Mance there at the point, and then uh, you know we had a couple chances scrumming out. I think Kivy was in on it, Miles, uh, and then that's just kind of the way Jared wants us to play. You know, we got to be gritty in the front of the net, and uh, luckily we got rewarded there. Up to 21 comeback wins now this season. What was this group saying to each other throughout this entire game to keep the belief? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, obviously they got a couple quick ones early there, but, you know, we settled in. Georgie was kicking. Uh, he did an amazing job, but, uh, you know, after they got those first two ones, I thought we, uh, you know, we controlled most of the play and then, uh, you know, fortunate enough to uh, tie it up there in the third and then just keep playing our game and, uh, you know, getting pucks beyond their D was good. 
coming in against a big time opponent on a back to back. This is a Western Conference highlight matchup. This one has to feel good. It was a gutsy win. Yeah, no, it definitely was. Uh, I think, uh, you know, we didn't have our legs there in the first five minutes, and obviously the score showed. But, you know, after that, like I said, we settled in. All four lines were going. Uh, Jonesy stepped up. He played a great game. And, uh, you know, credit to Georgia. He kept us in there for a while. Well, congrats, Ross. Nice victory. All right. All right. All right. Yeah, um, Duran went out, um, and they played with 7-D. So Caleb Jones stepped up, so they played with 7-D tonight. Um, God, what a game. What a game. We'll hang in there for more interviews. I watch uh, Altitude on Fubo. That's how I'm able to access it on computers and, like, DVR sort of setting on my phone, and it's great, man. I love it. Big fan. Big, big fan. Worth it. That's for sure. All right. All right. All right. Let's uh, get to some of your comments. Uh, I was alone on this, but down 3-1, I said, abs are winning this. <laughs> yeah, you probably are alone on that, Corey. But, I mean, that goal that made it 3-1 to one came from Miko with 1.7 seconds left in the period. So, just watching a replay of the goal. That was bananas. So McKinnon, they're kind of really slowly breaking it down here. So it's it's Kale to a one timer off a skate and off the Chushkin's visor. Header. Header. I and mean, Val points to his visor. Hey, off my visor. That's great. Uh, what a night. Nuggets and abs. Yeah, man. Awesome. Awesome night. Awesome night. Awesome night. Just got done shoveling three driveways. So we won, huh? Yeah, my man. T-Bone, we got the win. Four to three in overtime. Down three nothing. Oh, my God. I bet a lot of people went to bed. You know, just uh, tucked away, snow, the whole thing. I bet a lot of people said, nah, you know. Waking up to a four to three win in overtime. It was freaking awesome. They deserved that win. Hell yeah, they did. Let me see some of your comments. Uh, giving it to Mac. Yeah, well, they'll change that. They'll change it. They'll change it. ESPN is reporting Mac goal. Well, I mean, I get it, but you just got to. <laughs> I mean, it went off Val's visor. I don't know how else to, you know. Uh, Miko's goal, 1.8 left in the second was the key to this win. Huge goal. Yeah, that it, it, I agree. I agree. It's deflating for the team that's up. Gives a little bit of um, step, a little jump in the step to the team that was down to score it. <clears throat> Insane game. I agree. Insane game. Absolutely crazy. McCannon. Well, not that shot, though. You got to go re rewatch the shot. Because it went off um, 47 skate, it, it, it all happened really fast. So I can't say it floated there because it still happened fast. But it went off the skate bonko into... Um, so with 15 games remaining, the Avs have 89 points. They're tied with Dallas. Got Dallas coming up. Uh, Winnipeg has two games in hand at 87 points. But, you know, we'll see. So that's the central division. I wonder if they're going to show the entire, well, 15 games left. Vancouver has 92 points and Edmonton and Los Angeles are pretty far behind. So, oh, so right now, as it stands, the abs are in second place overall in the Western conference tie with Dallas and, and Vancouver picks up a point. So they go from 91 to 92, obviously, but uh, that was awesome. That was great. Way to get ahead and win. There you go, David. Boom, boom. Uh, two more points for Mac. Yeah, it just keeps going on and on and on. No way, RJ. You watch that at one o'clock in the morning? Whoa, bro. Gold star. Good for you, RJ. Win of the fucking year. <laughs> I'm kind of giddy about it. LFG, Kyle. Best win of the season. Grit, Todd, hard to argue. Uh, abs kill zone. Off the visor. Bang. 
Uh, Nush. Winner, winner. Chicken dinner. Oh, my God. That was awesome. Oh, here's uh, Nate. All right, here we go. Let's see what Nate's got to say. Hold on. Let me get you. Seconds left in the second period. You guys get a goal. You start the comeback. Talk to me a little bit about what shifted for this group and, and how you guys had to dig deep to get this win. Yeah, uh, best win of the year for sure. We're really happy with our game. Um, cool. You know, tough start, but, you know, it was just kind of a weird start. A uh, couple breaks. Um, but, yeah, we didn't quit. I thought we really dominated the third period, which is always what you want to do. And, uh, yeah, huge goal by Miko with a couple seconds left. And, yeah, we had a great third and really excited about that win tonight. You guys obviously coming in on a back-to-back. That adds to the difficulty of pulling off a comeback like this. But you're up to 21 comeback wins on the season now. Is there something about this group that just never really feels like they're out of a game? Yeah, I think it's, we've always been a really good group, um, uh, down a couple, even, you know, when we won the cup, it was almost better when we were losing for some reason, we just push harder, be more aggressive. And, um, that's how it just feels like, you know, when we're down where we just push and push and, um, you know, back to back, come back wins and, uh, really happy about it. Yeah. I mean, you look at, uh, Trends, Dewey and, and, and Mitzi and, and Walks, obviously. I guess I'm just thinking about the forwards of, of how good they, they've been. Um, I just think adding those guys up front have, have been a real game changer for us. Um, they're making an impact, whether they're producing or not. You, you see them on the ice. You see them um, working, forechecking, creating momentum. And Walks is a, you know, fits in so well. Uh, mobile, uh, fast, puck moving D. It's kind of our system. So it's, it's nice to have guys that are really good fits and uh, it's great trades for sure. Thank you, Nate. That was amazing. Great job. McKinnon says it's the best win of the year. Hard to argue. You're down 3 nothing. Oh, that is bad for Vancouver, man. I mean, you're up 3 nothing. This is Definitely a team you could see in the playoffs, and you allow that to happen. <sighs> Woo! Rough. Rough, rough, rough. Bye. I'll see you later, bro. You earned a new subscriber. All right, brother. I appreciate it. We do five to goes after every road game. I cover the home games. I'm there. Um, and um, we're trying to do as much avalanche coverage as we can. So I love it. Thank you. Uh, that guy was cool bachelor. Oh, the play-by-play -play guy for Vancouver. I thought he was awesome. I thought he was really cool. Yeah, I agree. We had him on, uh, on the radio show. I always forget which way to go here. Noon to three, 92, five. Uh, craziest goal. That was bonkers. Coming from altitude helps. All right, RJ. All right, see you later. See you, gamer. My man. Nice to meet you. Uh, it would be interesting to hear what that guy from Vancouver says about the game that you talked to earlier in the day. Well, I mean, like, uh, yeah, his last name was Bachelor, Brandon Bachelor. And, you know, like, you know, like all Canadians, he's super polite and really nice. And, you know, we weren't giving the guy a hard time. We had some fun that, you know, um, are you are you rooting for Edmonton or Winnipeg to face Vancouver in the conference finals? And I mean, would you really just prefer Vancouver against the Leafs in, for the Stanley Cup? He, he had a great sense of humor. I thought it was terrific. Uh, this team is reloaded and ready, shorthanded on a back-to-back. -back. Makes championship teams. Character win through the roof tonight. Through the roof character win. DMAC, this reminds me of the Avs losing basically on a rant and in over the glass delay penalty. What a way to lose. Oh, yeah. You got to delay a game with eight seconds to go in regulation in a tie game, giving the other team a power play four on three. Foof. Rough. Looking forward to Lecky and or Parisi back on the ice soon. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Those two are gone, too. That's right. Then we'll see the full potential plethora of goods. Yeah, I forgot about Lecky. My bad. My bad. Parisi. Um, yeah, I don't know if we're going to see much Parisi. We'll see. We'll see. I mean, 
Yeah, I don't know about that. I mean, your lines are... Well, I mean, let's think about it for a second. <laughs> uh, for the sake of argument, Lekkonen, McKinnon, Miko. Okay. Then you got Middlestat, Val, Dren, right? And what do you got on your third line? Because Logan's out. So it's Wood, Colton. I don't know. Could that be Parisi? Maybe. And then uh, Cagliano, Kiviranta, and you know, I don't know. Duhame, Trennan. I mean, Parisi may be on the outside looking in, frankly. Duhane and Trennan are big dudes. I mean, way bigger than Parisi. And I don't think, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I don't think it looks good, though. Then you got Walker and Johnson, um, Gerard and uh, Manson, and then Taves and McCarr. I don't know about Parisi. I, I don't know if that's going to. Uh, Wood, Colton, Parisi. All right, maybe. Maybe. You got Duhane and uh, Trenton, too. I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. They, they got some flexibility there, for sure. Uh, I had a thought today. The way Jokic operates in the fourth quarter is Brady detective, you know, and suspecting him. And I'm going to take home. So, yeah. The long text, I'm I'm tired. You forgot Middlestat. No, no, no. I had him as the 2C. I had Middlestat, Val, Druen. No? Lekkinen, McKinnon, Miko. Wood, Colton, Parisi? I, I mean, I don't know. We'll see. They're good problems to have. Good problems to have. Uh, wow, it can be a double banner year in Ball Arena. Boy, wouldn't that be something? Uh, this was this was great. Listen, get, they, they, they just had to move on from Johansson. It just wasn't working. It's not a bad dude, but it just wasn't the same. And boy, the energy now. I mean, are you kidding me? Holy cow. The energy you got going now is ridiculous. So a double banger here tonight. Got a W from the Avs in overtime coming from behind 3 nothing against a really good team on the road on a back-to-back. -back. Hell yeah, that's the best win of the year. <laughs> that is a huge win. Huge two points. Look at the other scores in the NFL. Blues over the Kings 3-1. to one. Predators over the Jets four to two. Oilers beat the Caps seven to two. And uh your Avalanche getting the W. Avs aren't back home until March 22nd. Nuggets aren't back home until March 21st. So I don't know what's going on at Ball Arena. Mammoth games and monster trucks or something. Uh, concerts? I don't know. Uh, in terms of the standings, let's refresh these bad boys and see what's what. I already gave you a bit of a rundown. Uh, the Avs now 67 games in, 89 points. They own the tiebreaker against the Stars. They are in first place in the Central, but they are point-wise tied with the Stars and two points ahead of the Jets, and Winnipeg's got two games in hand. So see how that mets out. This is huge. This was so big for the Avs tonight. So big. And had they lost, I mean, it wouldn't have been a shock. Um, awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, Georgiev, I mean, he, he gave up two goals on two shots. That ain't great. Only faced 21 shots tonight. 857 save percentage. Casey DeSmith faced uh, 34 shots, gave up four goals. He's eight, four, and six. Georgie goes to 34, 15, and three. Whew. Wow. And you know, I talked to Georgiev about just shaking off those early goals. He said that he just, you know what he said? He goes, uh, I look up at the scoreboard 
I see the replay, see if adjustments I need to make. But I'd make the argument those first two goals that he gave up tonight, there's nothing he could do. I, I don't think either of those two goals. I thought the third goal he could have had. I thought the third goal he could have had glove side. But the first two were just, you know, shit luck, the way it goes. Um, no big deal. The third goal kind of sucked. But <laughs> that was it. And now he did not face a lot of shots after that, which is good, but didn't give um didn't give up anything bad to. Sean, my guy Sean Phillips, looking handsome, Sean. Snowed out here in Golden. Damn. Yeah, it's snowing all over the place. Oh, uh, here we go with uh Manson. It's huge. I mean, um here we go. Puts you within two. Two and three is a little bit different, right? So I uh, put you into two. Within two, we kind of knew going to the third that we had a chance. Um, and we just had to keep doing what we were doing. I mean, we felt like we were we were playing well enough to to score more goals than we had at that time. So we, we knew it was coming. Does it feel like the intensity is really starting to dial up every one of these games? You know, fight for you here tonight. Seems like the champion times. Yeah, for sure. I think, you know, every time as it gets closer to the playoffs, you know, you start to, to see the standings a little bit clearer, right? And you kind of know how valuable points are, and it, it just kind of ramps up. It's just natural, I think. You guys outshot them 17-3, to 3, I think, in that third period, coming wow. in off a of back-to-back. Wow. What does it say about this group? You were able to get stronger to battle the whole way through. Yeah, I mean, we this is a, a good group of guys that looks after themselves, and we knew coming out of Calgary, you know, the way we played and, and uh, the way we used everybody that whole game that tonight, we were, everybody's going to be fresh, and um, we'd be able to skate, skate all night and in overtime as, as needed. Thanks so much, Josh. All right. all right. Very cool. Very, very cool. I'll hang in here a little bit for Bedsy. Uh, snowed out means Saturday got snowed, covered, so game washed out. What, what game are you talking about? I don't even know what you're talking about. Snowed out means Saturday got snow, covered, so game washed out. Ah, uh, no snow in Orlando. Okay, RJ, rubbing it in. I don't care. Is this live? Yeah, live. <laughs> how could how could I be anything but live doing this? Uh, Mel, Mel wants to criticize me about hockey stuff. The Avs were the better team tonight. Well, yeah. I mean, they outshot the Canucks 17 to three in the third period. I guess they were the better team, no doubt. Uh, let's see here. What do we got? Uh, curious to see what your new setup at the new place will look like just in time for the NHL and NBA playoffs. I agree. I don't know what the new joint's going to look like good question yeah this we sold the house we're going to close hopefully in a couple weeks lots of inspections so hopefully the inspections went all right the problem sure they'll tell us stuff about the house that we don't even know but you know that's the way that goes hopefully everything's cool wow what a win man i am jazzed crazy crazy Woo. And then the Avs and the Oilers on Saturday. So this is kind of nice. The Avs have a couple of days off, which is good. Back-to-back -back games, two days off. Uh, I assume they'll, they'll just stay in Vancouver, which is good. You don't have to hop on a plane. Not as exhausting. Love it. Uh, Demko could have clutched a win. Well, well, he wasn't playing, was he? He wasn't playing. The Chuchkin got overtime again. Yeah, let's see if they've changed that officially. We we know that he did get it. Uh, I'm refreshing. I'm refreshing. Hold on. Let's hit the old refresh button. Let's see if they get. There you go. There you go. Val Nachushkin, 25th goal power play. Nathan McKinnon, 73rd assist. McCars, 56th. Points are just piling up at this point. It's crazy. Miko had his 34th goal, his 56th assist. So that's pretty cool for Miko. He's got 90 points. 
62, 67. So 15 games left. He's got a shot to get 100 points, no doubt. So much for an off year for Miko. Ah, uh, let's see here. Hello, sweet DMAC. Hello, bitter sweets. Great game tonight. Can't wait for Scotty to call Miko a B player tomorrow. <laughs> Yeah, Scott's uh, hot hockey takes her, uh, you know. Yeah, you know. I thought I was respectful enough while still telling him he was wrong. I thought I thought I did all right with that. Uh, Val makes them so much better. Yeah, because he's one of the 20 best hockey players in the world. That's going to happen. Uh, I guess, did you not watch the game, D-Mac? Did you think the Canucks were the better team? Uh, they were for a chunk of the game, but you know, you got a big goal at the end of the second period. So I'm um, no, the better team won the game. I mean, the abs outshot the Canucks 17 to three in the third period on the road. I mean, you know, come on, man. It's awesome. The abs kicking ass and so are the nuggets, man. I miss living in Denver. Ah, oh, Daniel, we miss you too, said nobody. I mean, that's a shame. What a win. Can't wait for DMAX show on ASR tomorrow to talk about everything but the abs. Oh, my God, Mel. You got to be kidding me. Mel, did you hear that we talked to the play-by-play -play guy of the, of the Canucks today to preview the game? Did you catch that? No, no. <sighs> Uh, apparently, the Canucks DJ played all the small things when they were up 3 nothing. Yeah, Moj pointed that out. Nice pickup, though. Nice pickup. Like I said, you're doing great with the dork and the hot taker. <laughs> Can't wait to attend Mikey Poos Hall of Fame induction. Best shooter in the league. All right, uh, I'm getting a little tired, I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of waiting here for Bedsy to talk, but that was that was great. That was great. Real fun, exciting game. That pissed off the Al, Avs, LOL. Maybe, I don't know. It's definitely an in-your-face move, even though the Avs don't even play all the small things now. Or they haven't been. I don't know if they're going to start all over again. Miko getting this goal, they're, they're showing the replay of it. Ah, that is huge. Just huge. From Taves, great play by Taves just to throw it to the middle of the ice. Middle, middle of the... Oh, beautiful. Nice job by Taves and Miko. Great job, Devon. Love it. Love it. Mm -mm. Oh, okay. Um... I'm just, I'm just, I'm just losing. I'm getting tired. What can I tell you? Back at it at 7 a.m. And maybe I could just, um, we'll get Bedsy tomorrow morning. How about that? So stick around for, <laughs> stick around. Wake up with uh, Kill You With Truths uh, about last night. I'll have um, reaction from Nuggets players and Michael Malone, hopefully, and uh, Bedsy about the game and all sorts of great things. Update on what the Broncos are up to. And whew, great game. Exciting game. Avs win four to three in overtime. Love you. Thank you to Ed Prather. You got to understand, I can only do this if we get support. And right now, Ed's the uh, the man. So reach out to edprather.com. Tell him you appreciate it. And he'll sell your house guaranteed just like he did for me. All right, have a great night. Get a, I'm going to get a couple hours of sleep and talk to you in the morning. Bye.